Since the SAT exam changed to the digital SAT, we can use Desmos to solve questions. While Desmos may not help students grasp the core concepts of math, it plays an important role in the SAT exam. So I hope students learn how to use this powerful tool, as it can significantly boost their scores. I will demonstrate how to effectively use Desmos to find solutions for past difficult questions. The graph in the xy plane of the equation above contains point AB. If A is between negative 1 and 1, which of the following is not a possible value of B? When you open Desmos, type the equation into the expression list. They will display its graph on the right side. When x is between negative 1 and 1, we can see that the y value is less than or equal to 0. Therefore, the answer is D. The table shows shipping charges for an online retailer that sells sporting goods. There is a linear relationship between the shipping charge and the weight of the merchandise. Which function can be used to determine the total shipping charge f of x for an order with a merchandise weight of x pounds? When you open Desmos, you can see a plus button in the top left corner. Choose the table item, and then a table will be displayed in the screen. Type values into the table. This function is linear, so we only need to enter two values. Click the Add Regression icon at the top of the column. They will automatically add a linear equation in its graph. Therefore, the answer is B. The list shown gives the total number of points scored by seven teams in a curling tournament. The score 30 was recorded in error. If the score of 30 points is removed from the list, which statement best describes the effect on the mean and median number of points? Step 1, type mean, or click the keypad button and then choose mean. Step 2, put in the data set in the parenthesis. They will show the mean of the data set. Step 3, type median, or use the keypad button, and then copy the data set. Step 4, copy mean and median, and then delete 30 from the data set. Comparing the two means and medians, we can see that the mean has increased while the median has remained the same. Therefore, the answer is D. In the xy plane, the graph of the given equation is a circle. If this circle is inscribed in a square, what is the perimeter of the square? Step 1, type the equation in the expression list. Step 2, click on the bottom and top points of the circle, and the coordinates will be displayed. The distance between two points is 18, which means the length of a side of the square is 18. Therefore, the perimeter of the square is 72.